Devastating illegal drug taking over Georgia communities. Now a vaccine in the works could help fight our opioid crisis, specifically fentanyl. Good evening, I'm Sean Gables. And I'm Rick Fulbaum. Fentanyl is nearly 100 times stronger than morphine. It's been a public health issue for decades, but it is getting worse right now. From 2019 to 2021, fentanyl involved overdose deaths in Georgia increased by 232%. That's from the Georgia Health Department. Atlanta News First reporter Adam Murphy is live in Atlanta's Old Fourth Ward neighborhood. And Adam, you spoke to a woman who survived nearly two dozen overdoses and says a vaccine could be huge. Good evening, Sean. You know what? It's a miracle that Jocelyn Wallace is alive to tell her story. She is a recovered drug addict, and she had a long battle to get to that recovery point. And she says, as a recovered addict, she believes that effective fentanyl vaccine can not only save lives right here in the metro Atlanta area, but across the country. This is a pandemic, and it is is taking people like me out day in and day out. The emotion is still raw for Jocelyn Wallace. She's a recovered heroin addict who has been sober now for six years, but her road to recovery was beyond difficult. She initially got hooked on pain meds at the age of 16 following a car accident. Soon after, it was heroin and her life began to spiral out of control. Uh, I've overdosed, you know, countless, countless times over 21. And uh, today, I'm the executive director of a recovery community organization because my life was saved with Narcan. Two years ago, she founded the Never Alone Clubhouse in Douglasville. It's a peer support nonprofit dedicated to assisting people with recovery. I speak out loud so others don't have to die quietly because it doesn't need to be a taboo. You know, recovery is expected. Recovery is real. The statistics are staggering. More than 150 people die every day from an opioid overdose. And now a research team led by the University of Houston has developed a vaccine targeting the dangerous synthetic opioid fentanyl that could block its ability to enter the brain. You get our vaccine, you develop antibodies against fentanyl. These antibodies bind to fentanyl if it is consumed and prevent it from getting into the brain where it may trigger euphoric centers or trigger uh, respiratory depression and opioid overdose death. The breakthrough discovery could have major implications for the nation's opioid epidemic by becoming a relapse prevention agent for people trying to quit using opioids. The amount of lives that it could change, touch and save is there's probably no way to put a number on that. And back here live in Atlanta, I can tell you the University of Houston research team plans to start manufacturing clinical grade vaccine in the coming months with clinical trials in humans planned soon. At this time, they believe this could be a game changer, not only for those that are fighting the battle here in the metro Atlanta area, but again, like I said, across this country. We're live here in Atlanta on Jackson Street. Adam Murphy, Atlanta News First. Thank you, Adam. Well